What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is SN Akan and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to darken skin in Photoshop. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I drop subsequent contents just like this one. All right, all right let's jump right into the tutorial. So as a photographer, when working with dark skin models, I always try to make sure I get the skin tone right in camera. But for some reason, if I can't, I'll take it to Photoshop and apply a very simple technique I'm going to be showing you guys today to get that done in Photoshop. So now you can use this technique to get the skin tone right in Photoshop, or you can just use it for artistic purposes, just to get like a very unique effect to your images. All right. Just kind of like the high key effect used in fine art photography. All right. So now let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the base image. All right. That's command J. And the reason why I do this is because I want to work non-destructively. All right. Working non-destructively allows me to work in such a way that even if I make a mistake through my editing process, I can always fall back to the base image. Take for example, right? I was to mess up this layer, you know, I did, I, let me just select a color right there and just mess up this area. I can always turn this off and I still have my base image, all right? That's very helpful. So I'm going to duplicate that layer again, Command J, all right? And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the blending mode to multiply. Okay. And now I'm just going to go up to image. I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to desaturate. Okay. Then I'm going to go to image again, adjustments, on the shadows and highlights. I'm going to open up the shadows so I can get more information in the shadows, okay? So now that's it. Now I'm gonna just put a layer mask on there, turn it black. I'm gonna select, use my selection tool, quick selection tool. I'm just gonna select the image. Note that I'm referencing the base image just so that I can get a quick selection of her skin, that will guide me to really make sure I'm applying the dark skin darkening effect to only the areas of her skin that actually wants it exposed, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna paint over. So when working on this, I'm always very careful going over the makeup. I don't want to really go over her makeup, but if I do go over her makeup, I'll I have to remember to brighten it up again during the retouching process, okay? So be very careful of that. On her lips, you want to be careful. I mean, you can paint over it, but just note that if it looks too dark, her lips look too dark or too bright later on, you want to go back and um, brighten that up or darken that up later, okay? All right. So I'm just going to make sure I have everything um, I'm painting on everything, on all the parts of her skin that's exposed. I'm going to paint over these areas. Okay, that's looking good. Awesome. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want her skin a little, a little bit more, a little bit darker than this. So I'm going to just duplicate this defect and I'm just going to reduce the opacity, okay, to 50%. I think this is kind of what I'm going for. I'm going to reduce the flow a little bit to like 10% and I'm just going to paint over her lips a little bit. 
make sure you're selecting the layer mask, okay? Just gonna paint over her lips a little bit so it's not too bright. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, so now I'm just gonna go to select, deselect, and and that's it. That's how I get dark skin tones in Photoshop. Of course, there's a lot more work to do after this. You want to go in with dodge and burn and try and make sure, you know, her skin is even, you know, you're painting over the light areas that needs to be darkened, you know, to make sure the skin looks a lot more even and stuff like that. But this is how I will get the skin dark as a base to start with touching on this, okay? Don't forget, you can use this in getting very artistic effects or just use this in, you know, making your subject look her actual tone, okay? All right? I can also group this and maybe reduce the opacity, okay? And that's the before and that's the after. It's the before, after. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, give this video a thumbs up, comment, share your thoughts, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and um, get notified when I drop subsequent videos just like this one, all right? I'm dropping new tutorials every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, all right? And I'll see you in the next one.